Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison if you're new here and today I am sharing a master bathroom, declutter, deep clean, decorate, organize, all of the things are going to be happening in our master bathroom which is not the world's largest master bathroom and I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I have not cleaned this space in a very long time. This is very embarrassing, it is nasty in here, there is mold, there is just stuff growing everywhere, it is just really gnarly in here and well overdue and rather than just kind of clean up this mess off camera and just hide it and pretend like it never happened. I am sharing the realness with you guys. I am going to show you what our very gross bathroom looks like and I'm gonna be deep cleaning, getting into every cabinet and drawer and just fully, fully revamping this space. I also went to Target recently. I'll link a vlog here where I showed my full Target haul, but I got a couple little things to spice this space up. I've honestly never really decorated in here. If you guys are not new to my channel, you know my style is white and neutral and tan and that has not changed at all. So I have got white towels, a white bath rug and everything just very plain in here and not that I'm going crazy with the decorations but I did get a little bit of fun stuff I got a fake plant I got some pictures going in here new towels just a little something to spice it up and bring a little bit more life to this space but before I can get to the fun part which is decorating I need to spend the time and really put in the elbow grease to clean this space and the first spot that I'm going into is our medicine cabinets we have one on each side of the sink so I'm going through Christian's first I'm gonna take everything out declutter it get rid of some things wipe it all down and put it back together Christian actually had LASIK done last year and so he had a couple like lingering contact solution things and contact cases that he no longer needs so those are going to be decluttered and moving on and things like um, mini toothpastes or our little covers for our toothbrushes those are going to be moved over eventually to where all of our travel supplies are. This is really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I love you But I need you And you're off my radar now I lost you Yeah, I lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar Talk about it like you're crazy You know damn well I can't replace you Just say what, say what you mean Don't waste your time being mad at me Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words What I say I say I quit, it's only cause it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out what we've done these medicine cabinets are not the dirtiest or most disorganized spot in our bathroom by far and mine's actually pretty pared down I'm actually only gonna get rid of a couple of things but what does end up happening on these products that I reach for every single day like my face wash or my moisturizer is that like the buildup of product and dust and just like oils from my hands and like soap residue gets all over it and gunks it up and just makes it feel really nasty so I'm gonna encourage you guys today to challenge yourself to go into your bathroom and wipe down all of your most used products I promise it'll feel so much nicer when you go to wash your face at night when you're not pumping soap in your hands and having some gunk on your hand. Trust me, this is one of my favorite things that I did in this space and I did a lot more bigger before and after transformations later on. Like lots of decluttering is coming later on in this video, but the most satisfying thing that I cleaned this day was definitely everything in this medicine cabinet just being clean and residue free. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. Here's 
Here's a little before and after. Like I said, not a huge change in the organization, but it has been so nice to have this space really clean and wiped down. Now the biggest thing that I have neglected in this bathroom is just wiping down our sinks and our countertops. They were so gross, like actually Christian was begging me like, I know you want to film this video but can you please film it sooner because it's gross in there. So wiping these down was very satisfying and also really gross. But for the faucets, I'm just going to do a little bit of the surface glass cleaner that I have from Method and then I'm going to wipe down the edges of the sink with it too. I think I'm going to use it on the inside. Oh yeah, okay, sorry. I thought I was going to use another product. I think I use another bleach product over in Christian's sink because it really was bad over there. But in my sink, I ended up only using this multi-surface spray, which I'm using also for the glass, the countertops, this sink. And you'll see in a little bit the extra product that I use to get really, really deep cleaned in Christian's sink. There was a part of me that knew that And still I'm caught by surprise I thought you'd always be mine I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby going down, 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 down I'm pretty sure this clean bleach is only supposed to be used in your toilets, or at least it's made to be a toilet cleaner, but I don't use any of it for cleaning our toilets. I always use this for cleaning our bathroom shower. It gets into all of the ridges and edges really well and cleans it really well. And then also for really, really tough buildup in our sinks, like right here. So a little squirt of that, a little bit of water, and I barely have to scrub it off and it is perfectly clean in there. So that's the extra little cleaning product I have to use in the sink. Moving down below our sink, so that, that is all cleaned and organized and taken care of, I'm going to focus on the cabinets under our sinks. Now, I would love to have some drawers in this bathroom, but we don't. We just have these two really large cabinets, so I'm going to just be grateful for the storage that I have. But it has proven to be a bit of a challenge to organize our stuff. I would love drawers for some of my face products or hair products or even my makeup, but since we don't have that, I've gotten a bit creative. I'll link a video here where I set up all of the organization in this space. It's really been super effective, and I haven't had to tweak it too much. All I'm really doing is just rearranging things and simplifying things a little bit here and there, just basically tweaking the system. But the video is all about decluttering my bathroom and then putting in these wire drawers. So I have a single drawer under my side of the sink and then under Christian's sink, you'll see pretty soon there are double-decker drawers and they have worked beautifully for us. But because it's been a while since I've gone through these drawers, my beauty needs have changed. What I'm using, what I'm reaching for has changed. I'm going to go through and clear these out and declutter them a bit. Some things that I'm pulling out of here are skincare that's not pregnancy or breastfeeding safe. I thought I would want to reach for them going forward, like once we're done breastfeeding, but I just don't think the product should be used after owning it for that long of time. Like I've had some of these products that are not like pregnancy safe for over a year now, and I just feel like they're not going to be good in a year. So those are going out. And then the other big change in my beauty routines is that I no longer paint my own nails. I used to love to take the time to do my nails. I had a full setup in this white target basket. I would pull it downstairs, pull up a movie or something, and then just take some relaxing me time while I paint my nails for an hour or two and I might have time to just take an hour or two to myself but I no longer have the time to just sit there and let them dry for like one or two hours like having a baby you probably understand the struggle if you are also a mom out there like you need your hands almost immediately after your one hour of me time so my one big change with my beauty routine is that I now go and get at least my fingernails done I do the dip powder on my nails so they last about a month I don't know in this video if they were done or not no okay I had just gotten them 
redone after I filmed this video, but about once a month I can sneak off to the salon, let Christian or her grandparent watch baby girl, and get my nails done that way. And so that's a big change, so I no longer need like the huge white basket of nail stuff, so I'm paring that down, fitting it down into that drawer, and then also moving on to just a few things being pulled out of my makeup caddy. All of my makeup is also in this little hand caddy. Everything is really simplified and minimalized. Like I don't think I'm a minimalist, but I do like to keep a lot of my beauty in like skincare and bathroom products very minimal because I find it's the most effective and simple way for me to just run my life. I don't have time to be thinking about which makeup product am I gonna reach for, which eyeshadow. I have it very narrowed down. I literally have one of every product and I love that. When I run out of something, I either get a new version of it or I just refill it. But that's enough of my rant on my beauty routine. I don't know if you guys were watching this video for that information, but no nail polish, only the dip polish on my fingernails. I'm not sure what to do with my toenails, but that's not really relevant. And then also just um, updating makeup. But that's done under my drawer. We are now well under Christian's cabinet. Here you can see those double-decker drawers that I mentioned earlier. I'll link these down below in the description bar. They're a little bit pricey. Like It kind of pained me to spend this much money on just organizers, but I have have loved them. They've made this space super functional and very organized and very easy to maintain. So up top in this top cabinet that I'm going through is all of Christian's backup items. So his backup razor blades, backup um, shaving gel, eye drops, beard oil, all of that kind of stuff. And then down below are going to be my backup items. That bottom drawer was pretty self-explanatory and now moving to the top drawer. This is where we keep all of our medicine. I realize it's kind of ironic that we don't keep our medicine in our medicine cabinets. We keep it down below our sink, but oh well, it's what works for us and we definitely don't reach for these items on a regular basis. But I do have that pretty organized, not much changed in there, just tidied it up a little bit. And then down on the side here, I am going to keep some trash bags and then also some little mini cups. So that's all that's down here. It's way cleaner and way more organized than it was before. We don't have junk just everywhere in there. And also, I guess I'm cleaning this out because some like black dust always piles up in here. I'm assuming it comes from the pipes, but I don't understand how that works. But irregardless, that's taken care of. And now I'm going to go clean up all of the trash. Most of it's just like packaging or random things that I pulled out of there. And then also piling up some things that are going to be moving to different spots in the house. Now won't you meet
Now the postpartum hair loss has been so real, so sorry if that's gross, but that is all of my hair falling off of our bath mat. Um, also, if you've been pregnant and had a baby, you understand the struggle. I thought I was like some miracle magical person who was not gonna have to face that problem, but suddenly at month three postpartum, my hair started falling out like crazy. So cleaning that up, gonna toss the rug into the laundry machine. I'm gonna use a little bit of OxyClean White Revive. It's my favorite powder to use with things that are white and like our towels are white, our sheets are white, our bath mats are white. So I love to use that, but it's also color safe. So if you're throwing it in a normal load too, like it'll help the white items in there without it like being just pure bleach. So love this product. I'll also link it down below, but washing this rug, you can tell that it doesn't look quite as white as it used to. So it definitely needs a nice hot wash. And then I'm gonna start bringing out the new decor. The first thing that I'm doing is bringing out some new towels. Now I love this pattern from Target. I'll link them down below also, but I was a little bit nervous that they were gonna be too blah and too bland and just blend in with this room because everything in here is very beige and tan. And it does kind of blend into the walls. I know it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but it was the best option that I could find at Target that day and I really like them. So I'm gonna live with them. I like them and hopefully in our next house, they'll pop a little bit more in our bathroom instead of kind of blending in. But I'm glad that it's something different than just the basic white towels that I usually have. And then I'm also gonna be hanging a picture above these towels. I'm not sure why it's taken me almost two years of living in this house to finally come out and decorate this space a little bit, but I'm thankful that it's finally happening and Christian is too. Been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control you Push me then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher How your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering What it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more You leave me hanging, begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this Can't resist to be a little risky and go For it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know i do anything the final decorating touch in here is nothing too crazy. Like obviously I was not gonna be painting this room blue or anything. If you've seen any of my other videos or room makeovers, um, also if you wanna see any like complete DIY like crazy room makeovers, I'll link a playlist here that has all of those popular videos. So I'm putting back our electric brushes. Mini makeover, There's no way to make those look pretty. Little bit of flare and then I'm to also gonna space. bring back in our soap pump. This is from Target. And then I'm also going to bring in a little mini fake plant that I grabbed at Target. And then I'm gonna end up putting a white tray underneath the two of them just to kind of anchor it and add a little bit of contrast. I also tried out a couple little baskets that I have from Ikea, but decided I didn't love them in the space, and I just like the simplicity of just having the tray there. So that's what the final decor looks like. Nothing too wild, but also it's just enough to make the space feel fresh and new. Sometimes just buying one or two teeny little decor pieces, like some new towels and this little fake plant, really can make the whole space come together because I already had the picture frame on hand and this tray on hand. Um, the tray is from Grove Collaborative from a special collection, so I don't know if they still have have it so I'll link it if I can find it but like I was saying just sometimes just a little something new can make a space feel completely fresh and new and really nice so this bathroom is super nice and wonderful and it's very nice that it's clean now too and I was absolutely wiped after cleaning for that long so on to another day I'm finally tackling our little water closet room this is where our toilet is and our shower and this is also so grimy and really gross guys if you are sticking through this video I hope you needed some cleaning motivation and I hope you wanted to feel like you're not the only one with a messy bathroom Although I will be surprised if your bathroom is as gross as mine is. This is pretty bad. So I'm going to be scrubbing the toilet first and then also getting into the shower and sharing all my tips and tricks for cleaning a challenging shower. So give me a sign.
Now cleaning from top to bottom, the toilet has been cleaned and now I'm gonna start vacuuming up all of the dust and a little toilet paper pieces that have fallen to the ground behind our toilet. Just getting up all the little grimy bits and then I'm also gonna take a microfiber cloth and dust our toilet bowl holder. Toilet bowl holder. Words, English, guys, I'm losing my mind here. The uh, toilet paper roll holder. And then I'm also gonna wipe down our baseboards and then the not fun part of cleaning the very top of the toilet and then also the very bottom where all of like the pipes and the floor meet. Thankfully, it wasn't as gross as I was expecting it to be. It's just really dusty down here. I'm not Not doing much in here, but just adding a little more style to this space. I'm adding a candle and then this wicker box to hold an extra roll of toilet paper. Maybe one day in the future, I'll build some shelves above our toilet, but I'm mostly terrified of drilling into a pipe and having a water leak in our house. So I don't know if I'll actually do that. I'd love to do that, but stay tuned. We'll see if there's another DIY floating shelf hack in our future. And um, moving on to the shower though, I'm taking everything down off the sides of the shower. We do use these refillable bottles with really pretty labels from Etsy. I'll link the video where I did this little DIY hack. I guess it's not even a DIY hack. I bought these bottles off of Amazon and put these stickers from Etsy on them and now I fill them up with our shampoo and conditioner so it all looks cohesive and matches. But because that happens, these bottles sit in our shower for a long time. Obviously we're not throwing them out when they get empty. We refill them. So they're due for a good scrub. So I'm taking just a basic Target dish scrubber. This is another one of my cleaning hacks that I love to just keep around in this bathroom. I actually just keep this upstairs all the time and I'm pouring a little bit of the bleach because some of the stuff on these things were nasty, nasty, nasty and I really wanted to get it clean. So a little bleach on this scrubber and with the water running, I'm just going to clean these up, get them nice and new looking and then I'm also going to go through and refill all of these. So Christian and I have separate shampoos. So we have two shampoo bottles for that. We also have two different body washes and then I have my one conditioner and I am not picky about combining products. So you see me, I had two conditioner bottles. I'm combining both of them in there. I'm going to empty out all of my body wash into one. The only thing that I'm kind of kicking myself for is I thought we had another bottle of Christian's body wash, which we don't. So his bottle of body wash is gonna look sad and empty, but everything else is gonna be nice and refreshed and clean. Now moving on to cleaning our shower, whoever designed this home decided to have the most complicated with the most nooks and crannies possible in the actual shower. So we have four different little ledges for these bottles. And then also along the top of the tub, there's a rim where mold loves to grow underneath. I don't understand why they designed a shower like this or picked this one. It just gets so gross and it's so challenging to clean. That's why I actually started using this cling bleach because I was able to point the nozzle up under this ledge and get it all up in there, hopefully to kill as much of the like mold and mildew and whatever builds up in your shower as possible. And just nothing else was very effective at cleaning this type of shower. So if you have a challenging shower, like let me know down in the comments that I'm not the only one living with a weird setup. I also have another hack because I don't use this clean bleach on the bottom of the bathtub. So stay tuned to see what I use for cleaning down the bottom because this clean bleach isn't the best product for that. Getting caught in the midst of so many that never get out of in the fears and the doubts, ooh, but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame. Get out. 
and the back half of the shower I'm using the same exact products in the same exact way this is also why I love to have this Target scrubber just on hand upstairs all the time I use it to clean our sinks or in the shower and it can really get into all of the nooks and crannies way better than scrubbing by hand with a microfiber cloth but if I'm missing any shower cleaning hacks, please let me know. I would love to make this a lot easier on me because even this process is pretty labor intensive and I have tried many, many different ways and this is my current favorite. It's hard to tell in this video, but I've turned the shower faucet on and I'm pointing it towards this wall to make sure I get any bleach residue done. This is very important when cleaning with bleach. You do not want to be mixing your chemicals. So I am like triple checking to make sure all of the bleach residue go is gone. It's completely rinsed and completely cleaned because I am going to be using another cleaning product down below in the bottom of the tub. So one of you guys actually recommended to me to try to use Barkeeper's Friend, the powder. I've tried using the cling bleach before, but it's really hard to coat the entire tub and it's just so much bleach and so much product that I don't love to do that, but it really doesn't clean the bottom unless every little square inch is covered in like the thick bleach thing. Like you can't just like put it in there and spread it around. Like you have to spray the entire bottom. And so I tried out this Barkeeper's Friend hack and emptied out my Barkeeper's Friend jar. I only had a little bit left and I'm really happy with the results from this though. It was really easy to clean and since I had already rinsed out the shower with all the bleach the bottom of the tub was already wet so sprinkling on the powder like basically activated it immediately I let it sit for a minute and then scrubbed it with a brush Once I finally rinsed and then drained the tub, we were done cleaning in here. It felt like I never stopped cleaning this bathroom for two days straight. And it's time to put all of our bottles back. See, isn't it nice that they all match and they're all cohesive? I love that they all look that way. But here's some before and after just to remind you with what we were working with in here, how nasty it was, how dirty it was, and how clean it is now. Let me know down below if you loved watching this video. Make sure you like this video and leave a comment and subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Find the remedy